Hi, Dave Prouse here. I received a question from a reader about sharing data and mapping to that data within the command prompt. In short, this requires the use of two commands, the net share command and the net use command. In this short video, I'll be demonstrating how this is done using two Windows 7 computers. Of course, sharing and mapping can be done in the GUI of the operating system, but it can also be done in the command line. Let's take, for example, two computers. Computer 1, which is named Music Box, and Computer 2, which is named Win7 Desktop. The first will be sharing the data, and the second will be accessing that data over the network. Music Box will have a command prompt with a black background with green text, whereas the Win7 desktop will have a white background with blue text. I'll make a remote connection to that computer so I can show both at the same time within this video. Now, the computer that is sharing the folder needs to use the net share command. The computer that is accessing the shared folder over the network needs to use the net use command. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to access my music box computer, and that's this system here. I have the command prompt open, and first I'm going to create a folder, and I want to call it test. So we'll just do an MD space test. That's going to create the folder, and we can prove that by doing the DIR and uh, you'll see that test folder right down here. So we've got our folder, and now what we want to do is we want to share it. To share it, we use the net share command, but we have to decide on a share name. You can make it the same name as the folder if you want. In this case, I'm going to call the share name test share. So the syntax for that's going to be the command net share space the name of the share, which is test share, equals, and the entire path to the folder that I'm actually sharing, which will be C colon backslash test. We press enter, and it says test share was shared successfully. So now our share is created, and we can go to the other computer and map a connection to that share. Okay, so now I'm at the other computer, I'm at the Win7 desktop, and you can see from the top of the screen there, I've made a remote desktop connection to it, and it is the IP address 10.254.254.205. Now the first thing I want to do is I want to make sure on this other computer that I can connect to the computer that is sharing the data. So to figure that out, I could just do a quick ping to that other computer, which is called Music Box. And we get replies within IP version 6. We can also ping that computer's IP4 address if we wanted to, which happens to be 209. So it would be a ping space 10.254.254.209. And we get replies from that as well. I'll clear the screen. And now we're ready to actually make the connection to that share. The command we want to use is net use. So, if this computer, Win7 Desktop, wants to connect to the Music Box Share, which again is called Test Share, then the syntax would be net use space and then the path to that computer over the network, which uses a universal naming convention uh, path. That's a UNC path. So that's going to be double backslash computer name. which is music box, backslash, and the name of the share. And that's going to be test share. Press enter, and it says the command completed successfully. So we've made the connection, and uh, all is good. To test that, we do a net use. And that'll show all the different connections that are being made right now. I've already had a couple connections to music box, and a couple connections to an HTPC, those are either disconnected or unavailable at the current time, but the one I just created, double backslash music dash box, backslash test share, that says everything is okay, it's actually running, the status is good. Now we can also make this connection via IP address. We could do net use 
double backslash 10.254.254.209 backslash test share. In addition to that, to make this a permanent connection, we would use a uh, network drive letter. And we would add that right after the net use command. And it's really whatever drive letter you want as long as it's available. I could see from the list here I can't use W through Z, but I could use basically anything. So we'll say M colon. And then we just want to make sure we have a space before and after that drive letter. We'll press enter. And it says again, command completed successfully. So let's take a look at the list of map network drives again with the net use command. And that's going to show us that we have the original one we did without a drive letter and the new one that we did with the drive letter M and to the IP address as opposed to the computer name. So the net use command makes the connection, but it also shows what you have connected to. Okay, let's wrap it up. In this video, we created a network share on one computer and mapped to that network share on another computer. And to do this, we used the net share and the net use commands. For more information on these two commands, Simply type the command name and slash question mark after that command. That'll give you the help file within Windows. Or you can check out these uh, web pages, these links on the TechNet for more information. And if you're watching this video on my YouTube channel or on my website, I'll have these links as actual hyperlinks beneath the uh, video. So now go ahead and try it on your computers. Uh, this kind of knowledge is important for the a exams. And uh, it's good to be able to work in the command line and share and map to data. Uh, it can be very quick for you. Uh, you might like it better than working in the GUI. In fact, if you're working in the command line a lot the way I do, it's a lot easier. So try it out. And that's about it. That's Dave Prouse signing off. For more information, check out my website at www.davidlprouse.com.